Hello and welcome to the great kickoff of the Special Olympics Volunteer Program. I'm Nina Lagrande and we'll celebrate the kickoff for the Special Olympics Volunteer Program. We'll have 16 selected volunteers and without you, we can't do. Some of you are present here today and uh, we have a fantastic program for you. To start with, we have some information on accessibility for you. The event can be followed in the following language or the following assists, German with German sign language and German written language, English simultaneous interpretation and international sign and English written language and simultaneous translation in German easy language and simultaneous uh, interpretation in e in the player. Okay, we'll start shortly uh, with uh, the uh, opening ceremony in the Olympic Stadium. Only 50 days to go, and there's more and more excitement. And on the program, we
All right. So as is customary for such a large and important event, we start with the greetings. Nancy Faser has been the Federal Minister of the Interior and Home Affairs since 2021. And as Federal Minister, of course, it is also her responsibility to promote top level and popular sport. And of course, she is also a supporter and promoter of the World Games. All right. Federal Minister Nancy Faser has some exclusive words Liebe prepared for you. World Games Dear volunteers Berlin, of the Special Olympics Wochen World Games 2023 in Berlin, in just a few weeks' time, for the first time, the world's largest inclusive sporting event will be held in Germany. The Special Olympic World Games bring together thousands of people from all over the world, people with and without intellectual disabilities, 7,000 athletes with their families and their support teams, their companions, sport enthusiasts and many people committed like you. And of course, around 190 nations are represented. They will all change our society and boost inclusion, because these World Games are so much more than a major sporting event. They also realize goals for our society as a whole. Inclusion, participation and the implementation of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. They are a celebration of togetherness and the joy of sport. You have decided to take an active part in this and I would like to thank you very much for that today. Because you, the 16,000 active volunteers, you are what make the Special Olympics World Games 2023 in Berlin possible in the first place. With your commitment, you're not only bringing inclusion to life, but volunteering and active citizenship are also the backbone of our society as a whole. You volunteers are indispensable for our togetherness. That you are here as volunteers strengthens our social cohesion and our democratic culture. The volunteer tandems are something very special here. People with and without disabilities help together. I hope that this best practice will also become the standard for future major events in Germany. You, dear volunteers, you're not only a great role model yourselves, you also support the athletes of the Special Olympic World Games in being international role models for the power of sport. As early as June, they will show us and the whole world that it is not only about giving the best. Their top sporting performances will of course then take center stage and they show us what participation in practice looks like. We want our society to become more inclusive and for everyone to be valued in their diversity. With the World Games, we want to inspire people and motivate them to get involved. Thank you very much, dear volunteers, from all participating countries for contributing to this. I am looking forward to the competitions and I'm looking forward to seeing many of you in Berlin in June. I wish you an exciting and an eventful time. Now, thank you for those great words. And we'll now turn to, uh, to the Special Olympics International. Timothy Shriver is the president of Special Olympics International. And he is the son, of course, of the founder. Eunice Kennedy Shriver, and he has a couple of words for us Hello as well. Hello everyone, I'm Tim Shriver. I'm very proud to be the chair of Special Olympics International, but very humbled to be able to join in welcoming all of you to the family of Special Olympics volunteers, to the adventure of the 2023 Special Olympics World Summer Games in Berlin, in Germany, and to the extraordinary power of the athletes, the competition, the spirit, of the Special Olympics movement. Welcome to each and every one of you. As you know, people will come from all over the world in a few short weeks to Berlin. They will come representing the best of their countries. They will come representing the hope 
of our entire planet for the future. They will come as people with intellectual challenges and they will come looking to you to remind them, to prove to them, to encourage them, to reinforce their conviction that their message is powerful, that the inclusion revolution is essential, that you as the volunteers believe in them so that they in turn can believe in themselves. We all need support. We are living at a time when so many people are angry, divided, giving up. You, the volunteers of the 2023 games are sending a different message. We are not giving up, we are giving. We are not staying home, we are coming out. We are not telling people it's hopeless. We are believing, embodying, and committing ourselves to a more hopeful future. Whatever job you take, whatever role you play, please know that all of us in the Special Olympics movement are enormously grateful to you. But whatever job or whatever role you take, please also take a moment to notice the athletes when they come. Whether you're face to face or in a back room watching on a screen, check the eyes, look at the bodies. Let's try to see beneath the surface to the spirit, the hopes of these human beings who have risked so much, living day to day with scorn and humiliation. They have risked it all to come to Berlin to try to send a different message because they believe in you. By believing in them, you give us all hope that not only will these games be an extraordinary success, but they will be a message to every German, to every European, and I dare say to everyone the world over. It is time for us all to join the inclusion revolution and you, the volunteers, together with our athletes, are the leaders. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you at the World Games in Berlin in a few short days. Thank you, Timothy Shriver. And you may wonder, which sports do we have in the World Games? Well, there is an answer. We have a couple of figures for you and a couple of figures as well. Here we go. Those among you who've done the general volunteer training already will know some bits already. So in the Special Olympics World Games in Berlin, between the 17th and 25th of June 2023, we'll have some 7,000 athletes from 190 delegations, and there will be 26 sports, and people will compete with one another. The Special Olympics World Games are the greatest, the biggest international sports event in Berlin, and this is the greatest multi sport sporting events uh, since the World Games, uh, that is the Olympics in 1972. And here you see the sports and two of those sports will be introduced to you in a creative way. So here we go. Here's uh, the Tikwa Theatre. Uh, that is a modern theatre group from Berlin, from Kreuzburg. And there are people with and without disabilities. We have three dancers from the Tikwa Theatre and they will uh, show you what bowling can look like.
Well, thank you uh, to Thikwa Theatre and the three dancers. About um, 200 will be at Bowling World for the bowling competition. And um, some colleagues from uh, the theatre will drop by. There's another sport that Germany cannot do without. For Team Germany in Berlin. Uh, they will make you want to join them. Well, applause to you and thank you so much, Vincent and Summit. Come over, come to me on the couch so we can chat a little bit. 
All right, so tell me, how did you get into football? Do you want to start, maybe? Yes, thank, thank Papa. Yes, thank you. Um, it was through my father for me. Did he play himself, or was he just a fan? Yes, he's playing football himself, but he's also a big fan. So I guess one goes with the other. Vincent, how about you? Well, I've been enjoying football ever since I was a little boy as well. Well, I just grew into it, I guess. Well, it's just playing the biggest sport in the world. What do you enjoy about it most? Well, I enjoy being a playmaker, to, to train, to just function on the field. I love passing. I love just the game itself. And of course, I enjoy shooting goals myself. Sam, do you have a, a role model? Someone you're looking up to, maybe even for football? No, not really. How about you, Vincent? Yes, it's Ronaldinho. And of course, my trainer, Michael Curtin. What has been your greatest success so far? Vincent, maybe? Well, my biggest success was winning the German Championship and the participation in 2020, 2015 at the World Games. Those, I would say, have been my two highlights of my football career. And you're both from Berlin? Yeah. So, Summit, what is it like for you as Berliner to have the World Games present here in Berlin? Well, I'd say it's great. But I hope that things can only get better for us. What are you most looking forward to, Vincent? When I'm most looking forward to playing against different nations, because of course, football for us, this is like a, a World Cup. And you hardly ever get the chance to play such big games, you know, playing against other European teams, for example. But now the entire world can be a guest in our city and we're playing against them and that's what I enjoy. Getting to know their culture, for example, playing against them and just seeing who's the best. So now we have volunteers from all around the world and they're looking, they're of course spectating your games. And they've also been working at some competitions you've played. What, can you give an example where volunteers help you? Well, of course they help us with everything, with drinks, for example. So, so many different things they can help us with. What about you, Vincent? Well, I'd say the same thing. They're supporting us in many different ways. For example, when we need to find our field of play, when we need to orient ourselves, when we need to get some water, or when it comes to uh, result keeping. But of course, it's always important how big every volunteer's interest is in football. We've had some volunteers who were so into the game, who were celebrating with us, who were really involved in the game. Yeah, so, so far we've only had great experiences. And I'm sure this is going to be just the same way this year. So, thank you so much and good luck with the competitions. Well, those are only two of the 26 different sports. But where can so many different sports find room in such a, in just one city? We have a total of eight venues, and seven of them are in Berlin, plus golf in Bad Zara and Brandenburg. Most of the sports competitions are held in the Olympia Park and the Messe. But Berlin has so much more to offer than just sports. You can also just look forward to the city itself, especially for the volunteers who are traveling to Berlin. Here is a little taste of what to expect in the city. We are at the top. We are on the ground. We are up early. We are up late night at kiosks. We are ball. We are feeling. We are our neighborhood. We are our chancellor's office. We have shoe size 92. We have a small footprint. We're smart. We are art. We are starlets, great chefs. We are stars. So 
for land. So good, man. We are colorful. We are even more colorful. We are history. We are visions. We are unique. We are one. We are one building. Right now, you see in Berlin, I was Attention, person we are missing. Now live and full color, the official mascot of the Special Olympics World Games, Berlin 2023, is Unity. Hello, Unity. And it's great to have you. Hello. And you've only been on, part, uh, on the team for one and a half months. How do you like it so far? Excellent. Yeah, great. And um, you have also been a big star since you were seen on, in the morning show. How do you like the hype? You like that? You're a media professional. And I hear athletes are, were involved in your design and naming. So what does unity mean and what does it stand for? Love? Joy, probably? Yes, excellent. I can see that. And also participation and team spirit? be found during the World Games? Everywhere? There's no place where you won't be? Super. And now you're uh, wearing a, a pink outfit. Wonderful. Fits my lipstick. But you have other outfits as well. Which other colors do you have? Blue? Uh -huh. Green? Pink? Oh, green. Yes, I love green. Pink? And purple? Those are the three colors. Excellent. Just as in the... You have a, a colleague from Berlin who is also a volunteer at the Special Olympic World Games 2023, and he knows his way around in the Olympic Park. Here is Pertinio. Pertinio, that is Hertha BSC, the football club in Berlin. Welcome. And uh, it's one of the Berlin football clubs, and they are in the Premier League in Germany, Bundesliga. So, And we have volunteers from everywhere. But where are you from? Ah, oh, that is Brazil. And you've been around for a while, haven't you? How many years? 23 years? Wow, that's a long time. And uh, last year, were, you were a volunteer in the National Games. What did you do there? Uh -huh, I see. You were in the uniform distribution. Ah, oh, that's where you were. Okay, here, we can see it. Ah, oh, that's what you did. And that was the great uniform. And this year, what do you do? A football. Oh, little surprise there. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining us here. What are you looking forward to? Yeah, meeting all those people, Team Spirit, and you, Hatinia? Oh, yeah, the party. I can see that, and I hope I'll join you there. Thank you for joining us here. Have fun. See you. High five.
here. Now, if you want to have your own little unity at home, this is your opportunity. We prepared a quiz for you, and the winner can pick up this uh, cuddly toy version of our official mascot. And you can win it, and the winner uh, can pick it up at the UDAC, the Uniform Distribution and Accreditation Center in the Messe Exhibition Center. So here you see that. And please also enter your first and last names so that the volunteer team uh, will know how to identify you should you win so that we can give it to you. But of course, um, it's voluntary. You can just guess along if you like. You don't have to enter your name, but I'm sure everybody wants to have this cuddly toy, right? Okay, there's the QR code, or you go into Menti and enter the code. You can see it here. You can see the figures up there. And then you will directly find the quiz. And please try and give the correct answers. And if many people get the answers right, then the speed will make the difference. So try and be fast and try and give the correct answer. So let's get started straight away with the first question. How many footballs will be used during the matches? 218, 396 footballs or 492 footballs? Many, many, isn't it? I can't imagine. <laughs> or to keep track of them and who will carry them in. It will probably take several trucks. 218, 396 or 492 footballs. And the correct answer is 218. And some of you got it right. So on to the next question. How much fruit is consumed uh, during the games? 25,000 kilograms, 55,000 kilograms or 70,000 kilograms. Incredible amounts of fruit, isn't it? But fruits, well, that's energy, and that's very useful. So 25,000, 55,000, or 72,000. Oh, here we are. Here's the answer. And the correct answer is an incredible 70,000 kilograms of fruit. And many of you got that right. So let's continue with number three. How much laundry will be done for the delegations during the games? 47,000 kilograms, 52,000 kilograms, or 73,000 kilograms? All the dirty laundry for the delegations. So all athletes will probably enjoy that. And they will be sweaty, bet on that. So how many kilograms? And here's the result. The correct answer is 47,000 kilograms of dirty laundry will be washed. And that takes us uh, to the fourth and last question. How old is the oldest volunteer at the time of the games? 88 years, 93, or 97 years? The oldest volunteer at the time of the games, which age? 88, 93, or 97 years? No matter which age. Oh, I have so much respect for that person. Okay, the correct answer is 93 years. 93 years. That's the oldest person, the oldest volunteer during the games. And now, uh, now let's see what the results are. Who got the answers right? And who may... Okay, Andrea, you get to pick up Unity. Um, please remember to give your name and you will have this cuddly toy. Okay, as with football, we'll take a break of 15 minutes and then we'll talk to great people about the volunteer program and what you get to do during the World Games. Thank you. See you soon.
Hello and welcome back. And you may have noticed uh, the pause was a bit longer. As well, that may remind you of football, but we had to prepare a couple of things for you. But here we go again and welcome back to the second part of the kickoff for the volunteers of the Special Olympics World Games 2023. And before we get started in the second part and talk about volunteering and your program, I switch roles because I'm not only a host here today, I'm also a slam poetess and I prepared something for you. And I'll describe to you how I feel about sports. It's a stretching, breathing and doing sports. Now, when I hadn't been in the fitness studios for three weeks, I got an automatically generated message and it said, hello, Nina, your studio team Aren't you feeling well, or are there other reasons? So, well, I didn't. I'm telling my private problems, and um, the next day I just went back to the sports studio, to the gym. I hate my bad conscience. Sport is one of the things um, I enjoy the least after going to funerals, for example. Nevertheless, I always come back to the gym. The gym is right across the street from my office, and that's the only reason I went there in the first place, because I didn't find any excuses not to go because it's right there. I force myself to spend time in a way I hate just because I believe that I have to do it. But other than that, what I'm doing is not healthy going to the gym every two weeks, uh, walking a bit on the cross train and then doing some circle training is not healthy. Because I try and restart training my muscles every two weeks from new beginning. And in the meantime, I hardly move. When I worked out regularly in the beginning, I flexed my biceps so much my head almost blew off. And when a personal trainer looked at me, he asked me, well, are you flexing? And ever since that day, I hide my biceps. And while I'm training my biceps and my triceps, I'm looking at giant screens where someone in the studio is giving me tips. For example, most of your gym success depends on your nutrition. So I think to myself, well, great. But afterwards, I'm going to eat some chocolate anyway. But of course, in my gym, they recommend consuming some protein shakes, but they don't taste nice. They taste so terrible that I'm even more hungry after consuming one. So one time I went to one of the classes that are offered, you know what they're called, BP2, class trainer, all those names, but there are synonyms for sweating. Well, I'm a difficult patient. I'm a bit difficult trainee. I have so many issues with my body and, and sometimes it's just not healthy for me to jump around. And it always gives me a good exercise to not join the hard classes. Instead, I always join a Pilates class. Pilates is a synonym for breathing. The most important aspect of Pilates is thinking about your powerhouse. My trainer always shouts every five seconds, think about your powerhouse, flex now. My powerhouse, of course, is my core or my tummy. But my tummy, my core, isn't really a powerhouse. It's rather, I'd say, something that's super relaxing, that's always chilled out, or a mattress store. But nevertheless, I try to flex my powerhouse. And that takes up 90% of my mind. Everyone else in the class is, taken, is doing so much more at the same time, such as lifting their legs up and squeezing a ball in between their legs. But all I'm doing is thinking about my powerhouse. As I said, breathing is super important in Pilates. Sometimes you need to breathe in and other times you need to breathe out. And to make sure everyone in the class gets what to do, our trainer shows us how to. So breathe in, take a deep breath out, and everybody's copying her movements. All of the 30 people in this class are doing the same. I don't want someone to breathe for me. I can do that just fine on my own. If I'm working out, I want to do it on my own. 
these classes, they annoy me, the trainers, they annoy me, and I can't really focus on what I need to do in my powerhouse. Because I also need to focus on where is my arm, where are my legs supposed to go. It's so difficult. But the worst thing aren't the participants or the classes. The worst aspect are the windows. Because in short bursts, people are watching through the glass windows, and I feel watched just like a zoo animal. As if there was an information display saying, here you can see lonely losers in the natural habitat. Please don't feed them. So every time someone comes across watching, I feel the pressure on my, my back, and I need to focus. If I don't focus, I collapse, which is certainly not the idea of Pilates. The best aspect after working out is the good conscience, the shower, the food, and my ability to tell friends, well, you should maybe join the gym once again as well. And that's one of the reasons why I try to do it. And I always tell people, well, of course, I, I exercise regularly. What you don't know, I, I am in the gym at least two times a week, definitely. And three weeks later, there's another email I'm getting from my gym. Well, thank you for listening in. Now, and here I am in a different role again. I'm your host again, and let me welcome my guests. We are talking, we're going to talk about volunteering and what will remain after the World Games. And here I have Dr. Nicola Beppe and Jan Holzer as well as Sven Albrecht. Welcome to all of you. And I'll introduce you briefly, Sven Albrecht, Managing Director of Special Olympics Germany and the World Games Organizing Committee, Jan Holze, since July 2020 founding board member of the German Foundation for Engagement and Volunteering. And, um, well, your goal is to support volunteers and to improve the framework conditions and strengthen volunteering. And Dr. Nicola Becker Giannini, representative of the Berlin Senate and State Secretary for Sport in the Berlin Senate Department for the Interior, Digitalization and Sports. So, thank you and welcome. I said earlier, it's not even 50 days now. And what is the current situation? What needs to be done? Well, it's only 50 days from now before the opening ceremony, and in 35 a, a days' time, the delegations will come to Germany for the host town program. And that means uh, that we really have to prepare everything. And uh, the warehouse is opening, we'll start accreditation, we'll need to prepare accommodation for the athletes and it is like a big orchestra and uh, we need to prepare everything now that we've planned for four years we need to get all the individual instruments going so that it will have a nice sound and everything will be enjoyable and there are many volunteers now that are watching us so the world games um 16 000 volunteers how do you prepare for that Oh, uh, our volunteers, they are absolutely the centerpiece. Without their support, it wouldn't be possible to do the World Games. And uh, for us, it is a special joy to have people with and without disabilities supporting, volunteering and doing their best for the athletes. So the volunteers, a part, of course, from the athletes are the centerpiece of our activities. The volunteers are the best ambassadors of the event as we prepare for the games. Can you please, please advertise us? Can you please motivate people to join us in the World Games so that these will be wonderful? Okay, now um, we will, of course, give uh, the volunteers the possibility to take photos and to advertise what they do. Now, um, there is the volunteer program that you support in your organization, Jan. Well, first of all, I love this. I love the preparation and I uh, love that people are so enthusiastic. It is uh, um, big sporting event here in Germany and I want to show that Germany can do large sporting events and the World Games are an absolute super event and it wouldn't work without volunteers. It's our job uh, to support the Special Olympics organization so that the volunteers are well prepared and of course we want to accompany the volunteers as they come here. But honestly, I'd like to 
motivate volunteers uh, to keep working for uh, the World Games in the long term, and not only during those uh, three or four weeks here. We need your support in the long term. Thank you for joining us here, but it would be even greater if you would continue volunteering afterwards. Okay, we'll have two guests later who were in the National Games last year and who are with us again. Now, the foundation, your uh, foundation, do you support inclusive projects in particular? Well, the foundation has been around since 2020, and I checked, we have seven and a half million euros that we spend for a variety of structures to really promote inclusion. So the foundation will not be able to do it all on our self, but we want to support structures that can provide support. For me, it's not only important to organize inclusion for people, but I also want people with disabilities to come become involved themselves. And we don't have enough of them. And I would be pleased if the uh, Special Olympics were champions of this cause. Nicola, we've been seeing a bit of Berlin, which will be attractive to many volunteers. Now, um, what does it mean for Berlin to host the event and to be a host for 16,000 volunteers? Oh, it's very important for the city of Berlin. It is the greatest multi-sports event since the Olympics in Munich in 1972. And that means that this is a great event for Berlin. And we are definitely looking forward to that. We're absolutely loving it that there are so many volunteers who wanted to come in, who want to support us. We want to support the subject of inclusion in Berlin, and um, this is why we appreciate the volunteers. Please, volunteers, carry uh, this into society. And there's also the sustainability program for 2023. What is that? And the Berliners and the volunteers, how can they benefit from that? Yes, the sustainability, and uh, we want uh, inclusion to be here for in the long term in society. We have three pillars for that. One is uh, sensitization or awareness. We need awareness. Inclusion is something that everybody must be aware of in administration, in society. And we have many events. We had fireside chats on a variety of subjects. And then there are projects that we give money for, which we fund. Uh, the Thickwall Theater or the Museum Island in Berlin, they are committed. And uh, also other organizations, they have apps for people with disabilities uh, so that these apps are absolutely accessible, barrier free, as we say. And uh, we wanted this to be a great success. We heard about sustainability. And what do you hope will remain, Sven? Well, for us, it is important to really focus on inclusion. And that means we want people to meet people with and without disabilities. This is so important. This is why we have the host town program. This is why we have all the projects during the World Games. And the fascinating thing is there are so many volunteers from different areas. It's not only that the volunteers are from sports. They're also in culture or in medicine. There are so many volunteers from from different areas and uh, the ambassadors they, the volunteers are ambassadors they can do something at home when they come home they will be ambassadors and i think we need people with and without our disabilities to meet during sports and outside sports well we cannot do everything but we are, now have the stage and we'll do advertising in favor of people with disabilities now, what do you think uh, is needed to help volunteering? What is the opportunity that we have now? Well, recognition, appreciation is what is needed. And people must be able uh, to play along, uh, to be there. And that is important. Uh, that is important. Uh, volunteers, please do get involved. 
That is so motivating, and I hope that the volunteers will stay on. This is such a great opportunity. People can catch fire and feel inspired, and uh, I think this will enable many new things, much more inclusion. So uh, people with disabilities um, should not only be in the World Games, they should be everywhere in sports, in different places. Everybody is willing, but we need to make things uh, accessible, and I think we can do much more. I think we can learn a lot from the World Games, namely how people with disabilities can take on responsibility. Well, we have many volunteers uh, here from Berlin. What do we expect here in Berlin? Uh, well, I want people to feel something very special. We want volunteers uh, to always think of inclusion, to be inspired by inclusion. And I hope volunteers will learn a lot as they meet with, uh, with the athletes. And maybe they can carry this spirit into other events. I think this is what Jan Hals has said. We want volunteers not only to be available and help us in the Special Olympics. There are so many other sporting events in Berlin. Please come on board and do so. Thank you to all the three of you, and thank you for the last mile. Now we have friends of the games. Those are celebrities from a variety of uh, the social walks, as it were. They want to be part of the Special Olympics movement. And what they have in common is gratitude for your work as volunteers. But see for yourselves. Hello, I'm Katharina Witt, and I'm a friend of the Games. I would like to thank you, the many, many, now more than 22,000 volunteers. First of all, I'd like to thank you for signing up. I hope you have a lot of fun during the Games. I hope you can welcome everyone. And once again, a big thank you and all the best to you, and maybe we'll run into each other while hey, you're here. Ich bin hey, volunteers, Profi, I'm Andreas Mies, tennis pro, two-time French Open doubles, doubles winner, and a friend of the Games of the, games of the Special für euren Olympics World Games. Möchte ich mich bedanken. Jeder I would like to thank you for your getting involved. For inclusion. Each and every one of you is setting a great example on the road as Black Barrett's Berlin. Good luck and above all, have fun on the road to Berlin. Dear volunteers, my name is Björn Kroner and I'm a friend of the Games and would like to thank you very much for your great dedication. I hope you have a great time, a good journey and I hope to see many smiling faces. Thank you. Hello to all the Special Olympics all special volunteers. volunteers. Thank you for all you do to make the Games so special. Hello, I'm Florian Langenscheid and a friend of the Games. I have written many books about happiness, and I can only say that it is pure happiness that you all participate as volunteers in the Special Olympics, because without you, without your commitment, the Games wouldn't take place at all. Hello everyone, my name is Frank Busemann. I am a former DIG athlete and I have been an ambassador, ambassador for the Special Olympics in Germany for years. In June we will celebrate the World Games, and I'm especially happy that you, dear volunteers, are taking part. Make this event as great as it deserves to be. See you around. What's happening, everyone? I'm WWE superstar and Special Olympics. Global Ambassador Drew McIntyre. And I want to give a shout out to all the workers who are volunteering at the upcoming Special Olympics World Games 2023 in Berlin. I cannot wait to see all of our athletes give it their all in Berlin. So thank you for dedicating your time to make sure all of them are healthy and ready to compete. Hey Freunde, hier ist Lukas und ich bin ein Friend of the Games. Der hey Friends, this is Lukas and I'm a Friend of the Games of the Special Olympics 2023. I'm here to support, thank you for the great support you offer, for the great work you do. I'm really looking forward to meeting you, to having a great time with you. And yeah, see you at the Games. Lukas out. Gemeinsam. Unbeatable together. Diversity and inclusion are the great challenges of our society. And you as volunteers. You as volunteers have a great contribution to make sure the event works at all. We at S. Oliver, as part of S. Germany, are happy to be part of it and also bring 40 volunteers on site. Thank you for having so many of you and thank you for your unconditional commitment. Together, we're unbeatable.
Liebe Volunteers, ich grüße Dear euch ganz volunteers. herzlich und ich freue mich I wahnsinnig auf die Special Olympics, really Olympics hier in Berlin. Und das allerbeste finde ich, dass ihr dabei seid. Freiwillige Helferinnen und Helfer, Menschen, die einfach here. Bock drauf volunteers. haben, eine gute Zeit zu haben für die Sportler, eine gute Zeit zu kreieren. Und ohne euch würde das alles nicht gehen. Und Without dafür you, auch von mir ein ganz, ganz that, großes Dankeschön. Schön, dass ihr da seid. Ich wünsche euch It's wunderbare Special Olympics, unvergessliche Momente, großen Sport, aber vor allem eins, ganz viel Spaß. Moments, but most of all, a Hello, lot of fun. Hello from America. My name is Bettina Hoy, and I'm currently working here as a trainer with some American equestrians. So, as you can see in my background, I'm very much at home in the equestrian sport. I've won many medals for Germany over many years. And of course, I'm also participating in the Special Olympics, and I'm really looking forward to meet many of the volunteers. Because without you, just like here, such an event wouldn't be possible at all. Hallo, liebe Until then, ich bin die Nele dear volunteers, und ich bin Anna. I'm Nele, and I'm Anna. And the two of us will be at the Special Olympics World Games. We're so happy that you have a great time, Anna. And I wish you a very, very great time, Anna. Is that right? And enjoy it. And we look forward to seeing you there. See you then. Bye. Well, unbeatable together. That's such a great message. Thank you so much to everyone. And now we come to someone who's not quite as famous, but just as grateful for your support as a volunteer. Welcome, Saurabh Mishra. Saurabh is the senior manager of the volunteer management team, and he's been with the organizing committee ever since 2022. Firstly, thank you for having me here. It just feels like yesterday that I joined, so two years have gone by really quick. Uh, but I mean, this incredible movement, it came across to me as a unique opportunity. Uh, it, it did make me realize that inclusion in sport is now a reality. And at Special Olympics, we conduct all these events at the highest level. Uh, for me, it was also an opportunity to bring people together who have the same beliefs and values and vision. And personally for me, it was a very good combination for my passion of sport to combine it with a very meaningful project, which is Athlete Center, which is what we are all about, and Berlin as a host city. Wow, I mean, to get a chance to be a part of Germany's first World Games, I couldn't miss that. It's a dream still in my country, so <laughs> that was amazing. And I think with the World Games, it, it will, I personally am convinced after being here for two years that it will allow for sport to have innovations in a way that it can retain great social importance in the future. So you and, your, and part of your team already worked on the volunteer program for the Special Olympics in Latvia just this past summer. Looking ahead to the World Games, what were your main takeaways from the national games? Uh, yeah, the national games were a unique challenge in itself, I would say, because it was just after the COVID craze. So some things really went well, and some came to us as new. One thing we all realized is every volunteer role is very important. And uh, this, I think, as an organizing committee, we really look forward to connecting with them again. And uh, in terms of our operations, it was very nice to test the capability and user experience of our volunteer management system. It's again, first of its kind in World Games. And this was also possible, I thank Mr. Jan Holke and DSE for their support. And a lot of other things uh, which my team focused on, not, not just from the organizational perspective, but also thinking from the perspective of the volunteer. What would make their experience more enriching and more fulfilling? So tell us, what achievements are you most proud of so far? I think right now, if I look back at everything, I'm the most proud of each and every volunteer who have come on board, because without these volunteers, it's unimaginable, this World Games. And so I feel very thankful that everyone is on board. 
one of the other achievements is that at the national games, we were able to literally retain 90% of the volunteers. So this is a very high number of volunteers who felt connected and impressed by what national games presented them with, and they are also coming back for the World Games. And apart from this, I think it made us realize that our training modules and engagement activities can be optimized even more to provide a lot of information, flexibility, and awareness to the volunteers. And last but not the least, I think it's one of my personal achievements is the tireless efforts of my team, screening from like you know 20, 30,000 volunteer applications yesterday, releasing 90,000 scripts, and valuing each volunteer, each and every application, whoever from any part of the world wanting to be at the World Games. I think we are really appreciating this. So that's also my personal achievement that I feel proud of the way the team is working tirelessly, and they always have a smile on their face. So thanks a lot, Tim. So that uh, is answered in the first question of Brian's team, what is on stage. But well, Saurabh well, said he's most proud of his team, <laughs> who founded the volunteer team together, <laughs> and who f managed the entire organization of all volunteers. So let's <laughs>
towards Special Olympics. And uh, with this, I feel that we have a very solid foundation. Um, I would just want to say that being volunteers, once we come to Berlin, we will be witnessing a lot of change from 190 delegations competing at the best of the venues. The learnings will be unlimited. The exposure even better. Um, fantastic opportunity to make build upon this human connection, human emotion. And please remember each one of you, every volunteer who is, is uh, watching us today, that our athletes will be able to focus on competition and do well because at every step in their journey in Berlin, there is a volunteer who will be doing something right at the right time. A smile and word of encouragement or words of support will mean a lot to our athletes and they will be able to achieve fantastic things on the platform that is being presented to them. So, I mean, personally, and also on behalf of my colleagues at the organizing committee, it is a very immensely satisfying experience. And there's a lot to take away with in this case. And if I, I mean, for us, right now, everyone watching us, every one of those thousand applications were just a name on the application form. And now they will actually come to Berlin. So we as a team are really, really looking forward to welcoming them at the Uniform Center soon. So yeah, I would say just it's the one-time opportunity to be a part of something like this, have a positive influence, feel like a winner, and celebrate together in this iconic city. Less than 50 days. So what are the next steps for the volunteers until the World Games, and what can they look forward to? Uh, there are a lot of things to look forward to. Uh, also, being from my experience, uh, the summers are great in Berlin. <laughs> and they can enjoy the ice cream, so the local music by the artists around. Uh, but this is not when they're working. <laughs> uh, I think right now, the most important thing is to follow our emails and communications and read them carefully, because it will automatically answer a lot of questions. But even if there are some more questions, please feel free to write to us. That's the most important part right now. and the shifts have been published for all volunteers, nearly 90,000 shifts. So I request everyone to look at the volunteer management system, accept or decline all the shifts. Also, please have patience because some of the roles like ceremonies, opening ceremony or healthy athletes haven't been published yet, but it's going to be soon happening. And uh, yeah, you might have two shifts or six shifts. You might be working two hours or six hours during the games time. But uh, make the most of it and also of, the, of your free time because this will give you an opportunity to watch the competitions. Uh, we have a lot of engagement activities planned, SO Festival, and you know, make the most of your free time in the city of Berlin. So that's one thing to uh, be careful about. Then it's the role-specific training. So that will be also published on 12th of May. And soon, all the departments will get in touch with all the volunteers. So the communication will keep on developing and evolving. So, And I was reminded by my team to mention that the general training is now available in module. Module 4 of the general tra training is now available in German, <laughs> because we faced a lot of queries there. And um, in terms of uh, appreciation, your volunteer public transport tickets will be a part of the credentials. But I also today get an opportunity to unveil something fabulous that all volunteers will be looking forward to, is the volunteer uniform that they receive at the uniform distribution center once they are in Berlin. So if you allow me, I take this opportunity to unveil to everyone to be able to see the volunteer uniform for Special Olympic World Games Berlin 2023. Yes, please do. This is the uniform. It looks great. Fantastic. So you are a team of 10 being yes. responsible for thousands of volunteers. Is it even possible to get a personal connection to each and every volunteer? Oh, that's, uh, I mean, it's possible. Uh, the 
personal connections will always be two ways. So we would also encourage volunteers to always come up to us and talk. And um, that's what will make this team even stronger. Because once we have all the volunteers, this is the largest team of the organizing committee. And together to march on towards a successful games delivery would be nice. And also I encourage volunteers to connect amongst themselves. That's very important. Me, our team, we will ensure once a volunteer comes to us, we don't look around or beyond. We will listen to them, we will hear them out, and it will, I think, help us give them an exceptional experience in Berlin. Thank you very much, Saurabh. Thank you for being here. Thank you for here. having me here. <laughs> Jetzt geht es auf Deutsch weiter. Okay, we'll continue in German, and we have two volunteers here today. They were already in the national games, and I'm sure they can tell us a lot about what it's like uh, to be a volunteer in a Special Olympics event. So, welcome, Kurt and Isabel, uh, volunteers at the national games. Hello, you two. So, let's start at the beginning. What was your motivation? Why did you want to be volunteers in the national games? Well, I love sports. I'm Sylvia, and for 20 years I've been a volunteer in major events. Sustainability, definitely, in that for. Well, for me, I saw the publishing online. And I just love the chance to work together with so many different people. Could or both of you were members or volunteers at the National Games last year. So what were your roles and responsibilities? Well, I was a volunteer for the opening and closing ceremony. And I was also at the opening and the closing ceremony. And I was also a key volunteer out in Grünau, where kayaking and open water swimming competitions took place. There I was working for the spectator services area. So we've already heard about all the different roles and we'll have a quick look at the volunteer tandems and their roles. Yeah, we're involved with the Special Olympics here, supporting the Games as volunteers. As volunteers. It's a lot of fun with the tandem team. I have to say, it's just a great job that we're doing here. The people I meet, we work in the catering area, hang on bottles for soft drinks. The people are so friendly and open-minded. Working here, that's a great feeling of a team spirit of community. And you get to talk with people a little bit. They want an apple spritzer, they want water, someone else wants a cold drink. So we're quite busy, actually. We both absolutely love it here. We're also very proud to our part. The way we've been received here is just a great experience. People treat us with respect. Well, they just have to take us as we are and we take them as they are. I think sport is very unifying because it shows us that we can all be integrated into society. No matter how we are, who we are, whether we have a disability or not, you can see it is possible. This is a wonderful, great achievement, and what we have put together here in Berlin is just amazing. Yeah, so we are definitely looking forward to the World Cup next year. Yes, and I want to work again with Thomas, absolutely. So. We heard it was so great because you get to talk with so many people. Sylvia, what was your greatest moment? Oh, there were so many great moments. I only had good moments, no matter whether with the athletes or with the visitors or other volunteers. But uh, I think the best was to be together with the athletes. Well, sometimes um, I got to shout for them, to root for them during the events, or sometimes um, it was just to see so, uh, them so happy when they won. And after the national games, why did you volunteer for the international ones? Well, I didn't have a choice, did I? Having such a great time and uh, after so many great moments, I just had to volunteer. 
Now, what would you recommend to those volunteers who will join us now? How should they prepare? Oh, as you said, uh, they should just look forward to that. And they will have a super time, all of them. And I'd recommend to them to use uh, their free time to connect to other volunteers and and also to just enjoy the competitions or to find out more about Berlin. And you? Well, just be open-minded for everything you do. Relax and uh, look forward to that. Now oh, you're looking forward to that as well. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the World Games. We will. So the event is slowly coming to an end. We've heard from many people what they are looking forward to. And now we want to hear from you. What are you looking forward to? So just go to menti.com and be part of our word cloud. Go to menti.com, enter the code 62303163 and where you can submit your answers. What are you looking forward to most for joining the Special Olympic World Games Berlin 2023? So as I said, either scan the QR code with your smartphone or go to menti.com and enter the code you see here right on the screen. And then you can send your reply directly to me in the studio and tell me what you're most looking forward to. So let's have a quick look at some of the responses already. I'm really excited to see what you guys are looking forward to. I see many people are looking forward to meeting the athletes, to having new contacts, to sports, to people, inclusion. Oh, wow, you've got so many things to, to look forward to. To Berlin, new contacts, fun meeting friends meeting the athletes so you can already see we have got such a giant word cloud with things you can look forward to i think we already have enough reasons gathered here to look forward to the games and the biggest thing i'm seeing here is berlin sport and friendship and i think that sums it up quite nicely all right so we're slowly coming to an end tonight but last but not least we've got one more highlight for you live on our live stream for you volunteers we have a special world premiere you guys are looking forward to the world games and we've got someone for you who's looking forward to the world games that much he decided to decide a song about it harry Collin is a musician and an author and he's also involved as a musical director in music education and workshops for people with disabilities. And he started music workshops projects there. So this is Harry Collin and his band with the world premiere of The Course is Clear. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot, keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Die Kapitäne, sie steuern ein starkes Schiff und die Mannschaft, die hat wieder mal alles im Griff. Ob in Spandau, Mitte oder Prenzlauer Berg, über Berlin hinaus, wir fühlen uns überall zu Haus. Wir sind eine Riesenfamily, wachsen unaufhaltsam, werden stark autark, falls sich jeder engagiert. Wir haben Motivation, Akzeptanz, Respekt, der steht bei uns ganz oben, was wir lernen, erfüllt seinen Zweck. Integration, Arbeit, Sport, Kultur und Bildung, die ganze Palette, all inclusive, jede Wette. Keine Einsamkeit. Gemeinsamkeit. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Die Kapitäne, sie steuern ein starkes Schiff. Und die Mannschaft, die hat wieder mal alles im Griff. Was uns verändert auf dieser Reise. Jeder findet sich auf seine Weise. Gemeinsam sind wir stark, wir sprechen viele Sprachen. Trotzdem können wir uns verstehen und das macht Sinn. Er liegt genau darin, Barrieren abzubauen. Ohne sich zu hauen, wir meinen es ernst. Wir können profitieren von dem, was andere wissen, können nur gewinnen. Wenn wir uns verlieren, finden wir uns wieder immer am Hafen. Liegt unser Schiff vor Anker und wir können ruhig schlafen. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Die Kapitäne, sie steuern ein starkes Schiff. Und die Mannschaft, die hat wieder mal alles im Griff. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Eine Zukunft für alle, das macht Spaß. Das ist unser Ziel, gemeinsam schaffen wir das. Wir sind im Lernen, aufgeschlossen und sozial vernetzt. Wir haben einen mega geilen Song. Wir wollen mal sehen, wer als erstes unsere Flaschenpost da 
ins Boot, eine Zukunft für alle, nicht nur für einen. Das ist unser Ziel, alles zu teilen. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Die Kapitäne, sie steuern ein starkes Schiff. Und die Mannschaft, die hat wieder mal alles im Griff. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Eine Zukunft für alle, das macht Spaß. Das ist unser Ziel, gemeinsam schaffen wir das. Der Kurs ist klar, wir sitzen alle in einem Boot. Keiner bleibt draußen in seiner Not. Die Kapitäne, sie steuern ein starkes Schiff. Well, a giant round of applause here in the audience, in the studio, and for you maybe as well at home. Harry Collin and Band, thank you so much. And you can hear more from Harry Collin at the Special Olympics Festival at the Neptune Fountain on June 24th and 25th. Well, and this is it. So once again, thanks to your volunteers for your participation. Without you, the Special Olympics couldn't take place. Thank you for joining us today. The official part here at our studio in Berlin is almost over. However, if you want to continue, you can. The evening can continue. You will have the opportunity to exchange ideas with other volunteers digitally or to ask the volunteer team some questions. So if you want to do that, simply follow the link to the digital platform that is displayed right now. So have a great time at the World Games and have a nice evening. Bye!